Here is the news. Oh my gosh, the news. This just in, 13 ways VR may power the future of marketing. But before I get to this, my name is Hayden Crudoff, the host of the Hayden Films Minutes. We have started this new series, and if you want to check out some of the previous episodes, click the link above. And we also have our podcast, Hayden Films Burge, that also is going to be up there. Additionally, some other real great um, links. But let's get into this awesome news. A lot of great things to talk about. We've been talking about VR um, for a few years now, especially with one of our previous clients that we worked on some VR and some esports um, technology conversation in a case study. But this is, again, 13 ways VR may power the future of marketing. So this is an expert panel that was put together by the Forbes Agency Council. And that link is going to be below. Uh, we have a great um, panel of um, experts here talking about the future of VR and how it applies to marketing. So, you know, what's really going to happen with this article, again, like I said, it's in, in the description below. Um, the remaking of the world is happening right before our eyes. And that's what's going to happen in, in advertising. So these VR and virtual reality opportunities are going to happen. It's happening right before our eyes. And so what's really also going to happen, according to this article and the panel, uh, is discussing about enabling black brands to integrate audience lifestyles. So that means you're going to be able to go into these different VR experiences and incorporate lifestyle choices. Brands are going to be able to be incorporated into these spaces where we, the consumer, can actually augment that reality and be able to go further into different parts of that VR experience, which will open up new doorways that'll get you closer to providing your information for, and that would benefit brands, obviously. Um, you know, they go on and talk about presenting your service in advance. For example, in the hospitality industry, a travel app or an interactive map with your virtual reality video allows potential customers to explore the destination before actually making um, a booking, before they actually book. So they can go in that experience. If it's for the hospitality, they can check it out. They can see if they really like that hotel. Um, so that's gonna be really great to see um, brands uh, touch upon that. Um, the real great thing about VR in the future of marketing is gonna be offering a great opt-in storytelling tool. Uh, we here at Hayden Films, and we've talked about this many times with a lot of our different groups of students, is that the VR experience is going to be uh, an experience that you can ultimately create different stories, different pathways. Um, each story will lead you to a different experience, and the audience member is going to be able to um, drive that story. Um, serving as a compelling, compelling lead magnet, um, offering virtual tours like we just talked about, and, and these powerful landing pages that have traffic or call to actions that will ultimately get you deeper into different experiences. And so, you know, you may be ultimately able to subscribe to ultimate purchase points and so forth and so on. Um, creative new um, immersive marketing ideas, bringing experience to the audience. It goes on to talk about uh, enhancing your brand's message. This is really key because you, you look at older movies out there and they were talking about the opportunity of digitizing like a soda can, for example. Maybe this particular soda can, um, you know, that sponsorship or in-kind sponsorship or product placement sponsorship is no longer valid. The contract has gone void. Then you can ultimately put in this virtual reality world, maybe we didn't sell that sponsorship to a particular bottling company or a, a, a beverage company, a soda company, but now because you're in this virtual world, you can have a whole scene and then you can ultimately have product placement appear or disappear depending on different types of contracts for that content that you're creating. Um, and this is gonna continue to build brand awareness for all types of different products. Um, and the best part about what VR, according to the Forbes article here, and according to what we've been talking about with some of our um, students as well, is it's going to bring back creativity. If anyone remembers some of the successful Super Bowl ads from years ago, we were um, entranced. Uh, we were so excited to watch a Super Bowl ad. Today, some of those ads have gotten uh, a little bit lackluster. Uh, but we feel that uh, according to what we feel and this article, we agree that it's going to bring back some really great um, creativity. Um, it's also going to enhance um, serving as your pr professional advisor. For example, let's think about you going out and ultimately hiring a law firm 
or an accounting firm or possibly an ad agency, you may be able to use virtual reality to go and check out their culture, to check out their workflow, to see what their culture is behind the scenes before you invest thousands of dollars per month on a retainer. You may be able to visit a, a, a ad agency and accounting firm and law firm and make the right decision um, that fits your, um, your needs as well. Um, and so ultimately it goes on with some other great points. Uh, we can't be more excited about um, the Forbes ad, ad, uh, Agency Council. They do always a great job. You'll see this um, link below. Um, we definitely tech, um, recommend you reading that. Let's go on and talk about something that really is important, um, especially it goes back to our roots. And it's called We Are One, presents a free global film festival online. Obviously, Hayden Films Online Film Festival is the first of its kind back in 2004. It was part of my master's thesis project. If you guys want to do some research, just type into Google Hayden Films Online Film Festival. You'll get to see all of that. But we were always a firm believer that high quality story driven films were going to be part of the future of distribution. And that was back in 2004. Now, We Are One presents a free global film festival online. On May 29th on YouTube, it's going to be a 10 day festival that's going to screen over 100 films free, including documentary, short films. Um, there's going to be report, recorded panel discussions with filmmakers and virtual reality presentations. So this is going to be right up our alley. Um, we know you're going to love it. And, and the list of all the different films here, you, you, you'll just get a sense of films that are in the action category, um, drama, you have comedy pieces, you ultimately have music. It's just a wide range, you know, historical documentaries. We are a firm believer that all film festivals that are out there um, should consider taking their libraries and creating their own online film festival. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We can talk to you about that. You'll see the uh, link up here. We'll definitely talk to you. Um, we have a free one hour session available. We love talking about online film festivals. And to finally see YouTube and We Are One um, presenting a 10 day online film festival um, campaign. This is just um, a real true blessing in disguise. You know, we foresaw this, you know, back in 2004 and, and we think you guys are gonna love this content. And, um, and feel free below in the comments talking about the VR or the online film festival or what kind of festivals that you've been seeing. Maybe there's some links you wanna put down to some online film festivals you've seen. Put them down in the comments below. We'd like to shout them out or talk about them in the future. Um, and now the third and most important piece of our news today is called seven smart uses of influencer marketing and why they are effective. So again, this is a great article from Ad Age. Um, they always put out some really good um, articles and let's just talk about it, just a few of these points and you'll find all these points in the article and of course it's listed below. Uh, so one of the things they're talking about is how do you connect with subscribers in an organic fun way? So obviously early on when you're look, talking about social media, everything was about likes, shares, um, and everyone was focusing on the vanity of how many likes and shares. But now the focus is becoming on influencing the marketplace, influencing decision makers. And if we can do it in a fun way, it really goes into um, this, uh, for example, this particular company that's featured in an article, um, FabFitFun, they actually had a 300% sales growth um, annually because they put more of a, a, a fun approach to their um, influencer content. Uh, it also goes on to talk about finding micro niche areas and owning them. If you have a particular area that you're an expert in, it could be in any sort of realm. It could be technology, it could be media, it could be film, it could be music, it could be storytelling. It could be in a host of areas. And if you have that micro niche that you feel comfortable, focus on that, build upon it, is what the article talks about. Um, let's see what else they're going into. Some really good stuff. I want to save you the time. And of course, I want you to click on the link below and read the article yourself and find out what works for you. And it also talks about earning, enabling earned authenticity. So when you are talking about brands and you're putting it in a very authentic way, it's gonna build trust and commitment to, um, and you're gonna really um, start breeding confidence as well if you're representing that brand. So another beautiful, fantastic article um, from uh, Ad Age that is here. We just love these articles. What we're going to do is we're going to continue on a weekly basis 
talking about um, you know what's on the marketplace, what's what people are talking about as it pertains to film, technology, marketing. And we want to hear what you think about these particular articles. We want to see what your ideas are. Feel free to shout us out um, or, sh or send us a question, I mean, and, and the comments below. There's a really great area where you guys can share ideas, share information, ask us questions. We can definitely talk about those questions in our next Hated Films Minutes. Until then, please continue making a difference.